Okay, so this explanation is about the base today. Um, I will try to make this video the best I can. Explaining the best I can the base because the base is very easy. If you started to learn the bass or you play by ear, this is going to help you a lot so you could play much better and you could understand the song that you're going to play better. So let's start here with the bass. The bottom string is the E string, the thick string. So we got E and we got A, we got D and we got G, right? So this is skinny string and this is thick okay so we got the drawing the drawing is always going to be inverted okay let me show you the base hold on a second okay here we got the base so this is thick right so the drawing is like this Okay, the thick string, the very thick string on the bottom, and the skinny one on top. That's how it's draw here. All right. So here we go. We got here the scale, the C scale. Remember, the C scale is the easiest one because it doesn't have any sharp or flat. By the way, if you need to rewind to understand the video, play it again, rewind it again until you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so I advise you rewind again, play it again, and again and again until you understand what I'm talking about. It's gonna help you a lot. All right, now here we go. So we got a C scale, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The lines, if you look at the piano, is the black keys, the lines. The division are the black keys on the piano, okay? So you know from C to D is a whole step because you got a, a, you got a key or a note on the middle, so it's a whole step. From D to E, whole step. E, F, no whole step. This is a half step. You know that, okay? If we put this on the bass, you got to remember the E string here, we start just by plucking the string. It will give you the E sound. So that's why it's the E string. Okay. If we go right here, this is going to be F. If we go here, it's going to be G. This is going to be A and so on. We just follow the line after G goes a line so that's a space right there and then goes a there goes a line then goes b right here's b then goes right after the b goes c okay right here is c now remember after b goes c so if you count seven you could say eight or one because C, this C is the same as this one. So you could call this C eight or one, doesn't matter. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, or eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, okay? Because you only have seven notes. After the note, you have a sharp. So that's why you got the line, C, C sharp. C, C sharp, right here. This is going to be C sharp, right here. Now, after C sharp goes D, so this is going to be D. After D goes D sharp, this is going to be D sharp. And then we got E, so this is going to be E. Okay, remember, this is the thick string. The thick string the top string on the bass, the, okay? So this is the E string, E. Now, you got F, the line, F sharp. 
you got G, the line, G sharp. G, the line, G sharp. Okay, G, after G, go G sharp, then go A. Then the line, which is dividing A and B, the line is A sharp. That means that when you go this way, it's called Okay, and when you go down, because this is going down, this way is down, right here down, because if you sound the bass, it's going to go boom, 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 it's going to go low, you go up, it's going to go high, boom, 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 okay, so going down this way is with a little b, small b, it's called flat. So if I got B and I'm gonna go here, it's called B flat. If I'm gonna go up from A, it's, gonna, it's called A sharp. Okay, we got that, right? If we go up, it's A sharp. If we go down from B, it's B flat. Same sound, two different names. It's called in harmonics, okay? All right, hope you got that. If you don't understand it, rewind the video, watch it again. This is very easy, okay? Remember, music is easy. You just gotta have a little bit of understanding, but after you understand, it's gonna be very easy. You only have seven notes. And after the note, you have the extension of, of the C, C sharp, or if you go down, D, D flat, okay? So you only have seven, if you think about it, it's only seven. Now, this is why the bass is so easy. Pay attention, okay? Watch. Let me erase this first. Here we go. We have a song. For example, let's say we got to play this song. C, G, A minor, and F. Very easy, very basic song, okay? We got C right over here, on this spot, right over here. So let's, for instance, let's imagine that this is the C. That this C is this spot right here, this is the C, okay? After C goes G, so I have to go here. I have to go here, down, right? Now, if I'm playing the bass, I have to go up. So let's twist this. Let's put it the way it should be. From the point C, you got to go up on your bass to G, right? Then we got to move to A. So we got to move this way. We got to move up. From G, we got to move to A. And then from A, we got to go to F. This is what the song is telling us to do. The song is telling us from C, go to G, then go to A, then go to F. I have to write the M for minor in case you have a guitar player, you have a piano player. The piano player has to play A minor. If you just give them this, they're going to play A major, okay? The M means minor. It's still going to play the A note right here. But it's called minor with the M. Without the M, you still have to play the A. But that one is going to be major without the M. With the M, it's going to be minor. Okay? Now, this is what we do on the bass. From C, you go up to G. From G, you move to the side to A. From G, you move to A. And then from A, you got to go to F. Okay? Now, if they tell you, oh, we cannot play on C, we got to make the song on another, starting on another key, which is going to be, for example, F. You're going to say, no problem. This is what you do. Okay? Let me put this on the side so I have more space. Starting point C. We got to go up on the bass to G. Then we got to move to A. Then we got to move back to F. Let me 
may do this a little bit smaller. There you go. And F. So from here, we got to go here. Okay. The same form. If you start on F, where is F on the base? We got C, we got D, we got E, and we got F. Right here is F. How did I come up with that? Because this is C. This dot is C, so after C, we got a line. This is going to be the line, and then we got D. After D, we got the line, and then we got E. After E, right after E goes F, so F is right here. So we're going to start here on F, right? So this is point F. That's point F, where we're going to be starting. We got to go up because here is telling me that I have to go up. And I'm going to fall here on C. Why? Because I'm here on F. This is F. Hold on. This is F. And I got to move up to C. On the base, I'm going to show in a little bit, I got to move up to C. Then the form or the template is telling me that I got to go this way. So here I got to move to after C goes D. But remember, it's minor because I got minor here. So I got the one, the first chord, the second chord, the third chord, the fourth chord. Okay? Once, only the song has four chords. So this is the first chord, the second chord, the third chord is going to replace AM, now it's DM, because we changed the song to F. In other words, we transpose the song to F. Transpose from C to F, right here. From this one, now we're going to do this one. So instead of starting on C, we're going to start on F. This is F. So we're going to do the same thing that we did here, but we're going to do it now here. So here, instead of, I mean, instead of, I'm sorry, instead of A minor, we're going to do D minor because we're changing. Now we got to go back. And we're going to fall on B flat. Why B flat? Because B is close to C. So I can't go to C. I got to go to the next one. So this next one is B flat. Right here in the middle of A and B is B flat. Why? Because I'm going this way. I'm going down. So this is B flat. So now instead of playing C, G, A minor, and F, I'm going to be playing F. I'm going to start the song with F, then go C, then go D minor, then go B flat. And there you got it. That's why the bass is so easy. Okay? All right? One more time. Explaining the whole thing one more time. You have seven notes. The notes are the letters, but also the lines are notes. Only thing, this note is a C sharp if you're going up. D, D sharp if you're going that way up. F, F sharp, and so on. G sharp, A sharp. If you're going down, it's flat. It's called flat. Oops, sorry, I erased the, the name. Flat. If you're going down, sharp. If you're going up. Okay. Okay, so we're going down, so it's B, B flat, A, A sharp, A flat, sorry. G, G flat. There's no flat here. E, E flat, D, D flat. Okay, now, the song that we're going to be playing is C, G, A minor, F. Okay, we're going to play C, G, A minor, F. We got C here. Okay, on the bass. Let 
the base C is right here. Okay, this is G F. Remember, this is upside down, the base upside down. So we got F F sharp. We got G. We got C. So we're gonna play C. We're gonna play G. Then we're gonna play the A minor or A, but we gotta say A minor because that's what the song is asking us to play for guitar and piano purpose. So we say A minor, and then we gotta go to F. Okay, so the form is from down here, I gotta go up. Then I gotta move up here, or higher in pitch. I gotta move up from, from this to this, is higher or up in pitch and then we got to go down to f why because the pitch goes down to f and then we got to go back here okay which i forgot let me write it down here so this one also goes here okay so the same form that i did with c with the key of C, I gotta do it now on the key of F. Okay, so F, let's find F on the bass. We got C, C sharp, we got D, D sharp, we got E, and right next to E is F. Right here, after the third dot, one, two, three, third dot, F. Right here, one, two, three, F, the third dot, F. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. Okay? If you look at here, we start with C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, right next to each other. So we got F right here. So the form to play this song, C, G, A minor, F, and by the way, C, G, A minor, F is one, five, Six, four. One more time. One, five, six, four. So we're going to play one, five, six, four. When we start on F, we're still going to be playing one, five, six, four. Okay? If we start on F. If we start on C, it's right here, so we just look at it. One, five, six, four. But now we gotta start on F. So I gotta do the same form that I did here. Here we go. F right here. F because it's the third dot. So we got F. So it's F. Then we go up to C. Then we go to D. It's gonna be D minor for piano and guitar purposes. So D. And then we got to go down to B flat. This is B, B flat. Why? Because I'm going down. So it's B flat. Let's do it again. F, C, D minor, and B flat. If we start on C, C, G, A minor, and F. Okay? Now, let's say, oh, sorry, but the song is not on C or F. The song is on, I don't know, D, for example. Okay, no problem. Let me raise this one, so we're going to do it on D. Same form, okay? From the one, from D, we got to go up. And we're gonna we're gonna go to A because A is up. This is D. So A is right here. So we gotta go up to A. Then we gotta move to the side. It's gonna be a minor. It's gonna be a B minor. Why? Because the original is A minor, so we gotta put a B minor. Then we gotta go back and we're gonna fall on G. Okay? So from here we gotta go back to here and then from this one we gotta start again on D. Same form. I'm gonna show it to you on the bass. Same thing. Watch. D. 
D. Second dot, D right here on this string. String number three. String one, string two, string three, string four, string number three. So we got C, we got D. Why? C, C sharp, D. So we gotta go from D, we go up. Then we go to the side. We gotta pass the sharp and we gotta go to this one. Then we gotta go down here. And then we gotta go back to the beginning. One, one, five, six, four. If I start on C, same difference. One, five, six, four. I start on D, same thing. One, five, six, four, okay? And starting back again on one. One D, because the song is on the key of D, we transpose it to D. Instead of C, now they want it on D. One, five, six, four. D, A, B minor, for piano purposes, and guitar, B minor, and G. Okay? One is D, the five, so fifth, the number six, B minor, because it goes in order, always, always, the letters go in order. Music always go in order. Okay? Depending on which one you're going to start with. If you start with C, then the order is going to be C, D, E, F, G, A, B. If you start with D, the order is going to be D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If you start with F, the order is going to be F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. Okay? So, let's say, oh, I'm sorry, but it's not on C or D. We got to do it on E. Same difference. Start on E. You got to go up. Then you got to move to the side. Remember, you got to pass the sharp. Move to the side. This is going to be the number six, and this is the number four. One, E, right? Third dot is E, right here. So it's E, one, five, six, four. One more time. One. Five, six, four. One more time. One. The fifth of this one is here. The fifth. Always the fifth is on top. This is the one. This is the five or the fifth. The six and the four. E, B, C sharp minor, and A. Again, E, B. C sharp minor and A. Okay? I'm going to do a second part of this video lesson with another song. I'll see you on the next video.